How's it going, JDM crew? John here from JDM Expo. We've got ourselves another R33 GTR. I got some uh, summer shower just passing through here. It just started. Uh, I think we're just catching the edge because it's sprinkling, but uh, once we get to the warehouse, it should be all clear. Definitely, uh, it's moving pretty quickly here. Uh, but this one, not much crazy performance to show you. Uh, it is a GTR, yes, but um, it's not really crazy tuned or anything. Mostly OEM parts, which is really fantastic. Uh, if you're looking for something more original, this is definitely it. And they definitely upgraded stuff that I would always recommend. We got the suspension upgrades here. Got the wheels and tires for improved handling. Uh, it's around the stock size though, so it's not really a major difference, but the suspension does help a lot with the uh, road feel and your handling. It's very responsive. Uh, and also to help me with that response, I've got this Momo steering wheel. And while I'm just taking the river road today, kind of see some of the sunshine over there, just a break in the clouds. So really just one of those really quick showers. Um, there's not much crazy horsepower to tell you about though. The mods are pretty light. We do have kind of like that OEM factory upgrade exhaust. It says Nismo on the tip. A little carbon fiber, you know, um, upgraded looking tip thing. So it's like uh, nothing crazy on the mods here. Uh, but I guess uh, for some it might be a little crazy. We do have a wiring harness to the, was that the F-Con, yeah, F-Con S. It's the HKS aftermarket ECU. And uh, I mean, like in general, going through the RPMs, it's a bit smoother and a little more responsive. That's uh, what I would definitely point out. In terms of power, it feels, you know, relatively stock. Maybe they got a little bit more out of it, but it doesn't feel like a crazy difference there. But the response is definitely notable. And uh, I would say that's probably a bit more important for um, many folks because uh, having a bunch of horsepower doesn't always guarantee that it's a better handling or uh, performing car. We've actually had some which uh, at the garbage crew there taking care of business. Thanks guys. Yeah, just in general, um, the mods on here are really, uh, I do have a Nismo shift knob, which, you know, it's an upgraded shift knob. Definitely comfortable. It says Nismo. <laughs> you guys see the Nismo badge here. Uh, for the most part, everything else is OEM. Um, okay, there is a factory um, replacement here. We've got the Carlos area audio deck from Pioneer. So a little bit better. I am not sure about the speakers. You can check with the sales guys on that. Um, I was not told about any stereo upgrades, but you know, it is what it is. It's a little better than uh, stock. And the seats are OEM, uh, but for a GTR OEM, you guys know that they are a bit improved. If, if you're not familiar, uh, we have had a few GTSs come through recently. I'll be doing another video on one uh, next week. Pretty good stuff. I mean, they're comfortable, but definitely they don't have the comfort and hold of these semi-bucket seats that are in the GTR. Definitely a much more comfortable experience. Uh, you do sit a little bit lower than the GTSs. So if you guys are doing some comparisons, yes, GTR is a bit better. Um, you can definitely swap seats, you can upgrade seats, but like, yeah, this one doesn't need to be upgraded. It's perfectly fine but uh, it's all uh, up to your taste. So definitely this is plenty comfortable. Um, headboard is not sagging, that's really good. The uh, upholstery and carpeting all around on the interior are perfectly fine. Um, there are no holes on the dash or anything like that. So they definitely took care of it. It's not even warped or faded or cracked. So that's a really good. All right, and so while these country roads take us home to the warehouse where we belong, uh, <laughs> I'll definitely uh, give you guys the walk around and you can see the exterior. Um, they did touch up the paint a little bit. I'll tell you more about it once we get there. There's mainly some of the faded clear coat that kind of refreshed those parts and is looking pretty good. So, um, oh, again, I did want to mention about the ride comfort here because while I am on this country road, 
there are uh, little bumps and stuff like that and oh see there that's the suspension right there um, but it's not the uh, I would say the spring rate is not too harsh or at least they have the dampening dialed up into a spot that's really good for your driving along here like that so uh, just keep that in mind but uh, definitely much more responsive and smoother just all-around feel when uh, driving ah oh, man the showers kicking up a little bit more I mean I see blue sky over here come on <laughs> well guys uh, yeah I'm just gonna go grab a quick lunch and uh, hopefully the shower gets out of here before I uh, do the walk around outside okay so uh, we'll just fast forward to that all right, so here in the interior, you can see pretty good across the dashboard there. 98,293 on the clock. And, um, hmm, see that triple gauge right there. Climate control, Caro's area audio deck. And uh, I'm not so sure about the speakers, but uh, overall should be all right. Uh, a little better than OEM and uh, well let's look under the carpets there pretty good shape there and uh, what you're seeing over here with the wiring we've got where the ECU is supposed to be and then we actually have the HKS FCON S so there you go they are running an aftermarket ECU on this so a little bit better than stock more responsive better processing power all that good stuff got some of the papers over there carpets for the back and here's the seats so yep overall pretty good condition on the interior no sagging on the headliner let me step out of here real quick and you can see seats are in pretty good shape no tears or anything like that carpets and the door panels as you can see on both sides pretty good condition there and so I've already popped the hood and I'll just get to that just a quick look here we'll look at that in more detail in a second now I just wanted to uh, get this out of the way because you're not going to be impressed because it's stock <laughs> not super duper stock but pretty OEM and you know, we do have like that slightly better tune on there uh, and uh, here's some of those numbers for you guys focus there we go and uh, yeah I mean you can put it on anything you want or you leave it stock it's really up to you got the sparkly purple GTR cover on there so that RB26 goodness and uh, this is pretty typical you guys have seen it in others uh, just the usual where the thermal coating just flakes off uh, you could redo that or just leave it alone it's not gonna hurt anything because it's still doing its job you can see the OEM plumbing for the intercooler so yeah pretty much OEM as it gets course we do have this carbon grill which is cool and uh, I did polish these up earlier because you know the typical yellow fading plastic so I uh, used a headlight restorer on here so much better you need that safety and visibility and you can see here we do have got a coil over set up on there I'll show you guys in a second We'll get up underneath there shortly. Uh, once I get this up on the lift, I'll show you guys that later. But uh, for now, you guys can take a look. Dun, 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 dun. So we got those suspension improvements there. All good. And uh, we'll just take a walk around and to look at this. We do you have an aftermarket? Well, I think it was uh, one of the more OEM options. It says Nismo on it, as you can see on the tip there.
and uh, after we got this we actually did get some of the paint freshened up some of the clear coat was coming off so they did polish it up and restore some parts of it so it is looking a lot better yeah usually with the age of these cars once they're getting above 20 you get a lot of that uh, clear coat or paint issues so this one was freshened up a little bit looks absolutely great now you can see the plastic's a little bit worn there but we can use a little plastic restore if necessary but it's not going to hurt a thing definitely that works perfectly with that inner cooler right there you can see the stance is really good with these those volk rays But yeah, all around, the paint's in pretty good shape and with all those different parts restored. Just little patches here and there, making sure that the clear coat is uh, fixed up a bit. So definitely looking real good there. And you can see uh, definitely that stance. All right, yep, so in the trunk area, we've got the OEM strut bar there. Battery is up behind there. And uh, over here, we've got the spare tire right there. Got the tools on the side there. Yep, got everything you need. All that OEM goodness there, so. But plenty of room. Yeah, you can definitely put a few bags in there, suitcase, maybe two in a backpack. Yeah, definitely good for travel. Well, uh, there you have it, folks. Another great GTR R33. And um, I know some of you guys might think that it's a boat, but uh, I think they're pretty fair. Definitely a good time. And uh, this one with the upgraded ECU and suspension upgrades and all that, it's got the stock Brembos all around. It's a good time. <laughs> Definitely responsive and smooth. So uh, if you guys are interested in this or any other vehicles, make sure to hit up our sales team info at jdm-expo.com. They'll be able to answer all your questions. Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, DMs from those will go to them as well, and they'll be able to get back to you within about 24 hours. So don't hesitate to uh, contact them. And uh, well, you know, we've had plenty of R33s through here. Some of them are really modified, and this one, mostly stock couple of nice upgrades I guess this is uh, what they would say is pretty tasteful and uh, yeah just taking care of the clear coat and making sure everything is all freshened up it's definitely looking really good too so uh, yeah all in all pretty good check it out and if you're uh, not interested in this you want something a little bit more modified definitely check our inventory we still do have a few other really highly modified ones in stock and we've got a really crazy R32 coming up in a future video, so look forward to that as well. All right, guys, uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.